Hi there, Pisces, and welcome back to Star Lordess Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the month of May 2019. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out in a Celtic cross. Let's see what's going on for Pisces. First up, we have the Nine of um, Wands in the upright position, followed then by the Three of Cups upright. And next we have Major Arcana, the Tower in the upright and next we have the Two of Cups reversed, followed by Major Arcana Judgment in the upright position. And next we have Major Arcana Temperance in the upright, followed then by Major Arcana the High Priestess in the upright. And then we have the Six of Pentacles reversed, followed then by the Five of Wands reversed. And lastly, we have the Knight of Swords in the upright. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and interpret this read for you guys. You've got a, quite a bit of Major Arcana here. Could be a bit of an intense month for my Pisces. Okay, for your overall energy, you have that of the Nine of Wands in the upright position. This is the Wounded Warrior card. This is where um, the Nine Wands there uh, are representative of the challenges that we have faced already in a particular situation now. That's why he's wounded. That's why he's got a bandage on his head. He's got a big boo-boo because he's fought a lot of battles and he has, you know, met a lot of challenges. But look, at he's strong. He's still standing. And that's you, Pisces, this month. You are standing your ground. You're ready to fight another day if you should have to. But he doesn't necessarily have to. He's just ready in case he should have to deal with a battle. <laughs> So you're a little bit on guard this month. And your crossing energy is that of the Three of Cups in the upright position. Lovely energy. Beautiful. Uh, Scorpio got this card too. So this is about being extremely sociable, having happy times, have, happy, having good times perhaps uh, at weddings, engagement parties, um, even uh, family reunions or uh, any kind of where we're getting together with a group of people and having a great time. So this could be even high school reunions, that kind of thing. It's celebratory energy and very social. So it could be this month that you are feeling extremely social. And if you're invited to a lot of different events, it could be um, that you're having a really good time at them. <laughs> Although you're a little bit on guard, <laughs> but you're still enjoying yourself on, on the social front. Now, in the past, this is something that could have happened a couple weeks ago or a month ago. We have Major Arcana, the tower in the upright position. The tower represents something shocking that comes out of the blue, something we didn't expect. And um, it can represent shocking news, like I said, that... And it can come in any area of your life. Remember, only take what pertains to you. If it doesn't, then it's not meant for you. So... If you did have a tower moment, it could have been uh, anything from hearing something shocking about somebody secondhand. Maybe it's about a neighbor or about a friend or a family member. For others of you, you could have had an experience that just kind of comes out of nowhere. Uh, sometimes this can pop up when we all of a sudden, you know, pipe bursts in our house and, and we have to deal with uh, fixing the pipe or things like that. It's just, you know, shocking things that can just sort of like throw us for a loop because you don't see it coming. But luckily that is in your past energy. Pisces, uh, leaving the month of April and coming into the month of May, we have the energies of the Two of Cups in the reverse position. The Two of Cups upright, this is beautiful energy. The Twin Flame Soulmate card um, can be simpatico, feeling really good on the same page with someone. Could be a new love interest, could represent a best friend or what have you. When the card is inverted like this, this can represent... Um, not being on the same page with someone, maybe someone you normally are on the same page with. Again, could be a family member, a best friend, uh, somebody that you're really close to that you normally have a great uh, energy that goes back and forth and, and you're usually on the same page. But it could be, sometimes this can just come up because we're disagreeing with, say for example, there was an upset in the home. This could be your partner. Maybe you're just not agreeing on how to fix that leaky pipe or that broken pipe. For others of you, it could just be an incident, something came up, and now you're upset with your partner, your partner's upset with you, or again, it could be a best friend. It's going to be different for all of you because it's just a general read. Now, uh, moving out of that energy into early May, we come to the 
major arcana, the judgment card in the upright position. This can represent um, something being resurrected from the past where there's a need to make a judgment call on it. Uh, this can come up when, a, say, a relationship from the past returns again and we have another shot at it. And sometimes that can be a good thing because if the relationship from the past ended where the person just sort of disappeared, ghosted us, or uh, you know, just had to go in a different direction because they were traveling or what have you, it could be that you see a return of this person now. Um, and then that's where the judgment call comes in because we don't necessarily have to take the person back. Sometimes it's good to just talk with the person and get some closure or say what you need to say at the end that you never got a chance to say before. Or it could be um, a situation, if it's not a relationship, it could be a situation from the past. Could even be representing someone from the past in terms of your career or your work situation. Maybe they come back again and maybe offer you another chance at this career or this job or something like that. And again, you know, it, the choice is up to you. You'll have to make the judgment call on that. And then around the middle of the month, we have the energies of Major Arcana the um, <coughs> temperance in the upright position. Excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> and temperance is beautiful energy. It's, it's very healing uh, on the spiritual front and it's very healing on the emotional front. It's very balanced, very sweet energy. It's also about mixing and blending things in a, a good way. So if you're having trouble, say for example, if somebody's um, asking you to return to a prior job or career situation. It could be that now there's balance in this um, situation if you left it before because you couldn't get along or you didn't get along with the other people or they didn't get along with you. It could be that now the people who are working at this um, this business or what have you, maybe now they're a lot more compatible with you. Uh, this could just be representing if you're socializing for example, and maybe you're getting together with a group of people that you didn't think would normally mix and blend together. Well, it turns out that they do. Maybe that's why you're having such a good social time. But there is some healing. It could even be with this uh, relationship that maybe goes out of balance at the beginning of the month. It could be that perhaps there's some healing and then there's some um, some cooperation, let's say, okay, cooperation that comes back and brings the relationship back into balance. Now this is you internally, the way that you're feeling, not necessarily what you're showing to the world, but we have the energies of the high priestess in the upright position. This is good, the card is in the upright position because this is you, Pisces all month, tapping into your intuition. You have excellent intuition and when you're tapped into it, there is nothing anybody can, nobody can pull the wool over your eyes. So this is you, um, tapping into that intuition. Maybe you're doing some meditation, which would be really good this month with this energy around for you. Uh, in order to learn something, maybe there's something uh, that's hidden from you that you don't understand in an element of a relationship or a situation, work situation. If you want to know what's really going on, if you tap into your gut feeling and your intuition here, you can, through meditation or even just uh, quietening your your mind or just spending some time alone and just getting in touch, doing some self-analysis and so forth, that can go a long way towards helping us figure out what to do and what the next step should be because nobody can tell us better than ourselves how to proceed with our own lives, right? So now in your people and environment, we have the Six of Pentacles in the reverse position. This is perhaps a relationship or someone in your environment that's out of balance. The Six of Pentacles in the upright position, this is beautiful energy. It's very balanced. This is really nice where it's equal work for equal pay. This is about generosity and reciprocity. When the card is inverted like this, this can represent um, perhaps maybe there's someone in your environment that you feel is taking advantage of you. Maybe you're uh, working more than they're paying you, you're not getting your equal pay. That could work for some of you too who are working on commission. Maybe people are not giving you what you deserve or what you're asking for. For others of you, it, you could just be dealing maybe this month with some people who are being very ungenerous 
And for others, it could be, you know, you're really struggling with a relationship that could be out of balance in that in your environment. Now, your hopes and fears position, we have the five of wands in the reverse position. Five of wands upright, this is, can represent stiff competition and it can be a petty drama, he said, she said kind of conflict. When the card is inverted like this, this can represent coming out of that kind of conflict or that kind of drama. Or it could be that uh, the competition is over. So it could be for some of you, maybe you're just hoping that uh, th if there's a competitive situation going on, that you're hoping that it comes to an end. Others of you could just be hoping to steer clear of drama this month because it looks like you've got something pretty serious going on, maybe on the spiritual level or on the emotional level. And it's something you need to figure out and you don't need all the distractions of petty drama around. And at the very end of the month, you have the energies of the Knight of Swords. I don't know how he even fits into this reading. This is just like kind of bizarre, but right at the very end of the month, you have uh, the Knight of Swords is a court card, so it could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is air energy, that of Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Arising, male or female. It could be that for some of you, this person just comes out of nowhere. And that's the rushed out energy. I always get rushed out when I pick up this card. The Knight of Swords comes in uh, very quickly and sometimes, like I said, out of nowhere, rushes in and he has an offer for you, uh, Pisces, at the very end of the month. It could be a written offer. It could be a verbal offer. This could be a love interest rushing in. It could be the person from your past maybe coming in towards the end of the month wanting to take you out, wanting to romance you, wanting to do something. The the Knight of Swords, though, um, it's, it's very uh, rushed out energy, and there's also a lot of communication connected to this, uh, this particular energy. So it could be for others of you, if it's not pertaining to a romantic uh, offer, this could be a verbal offer, this could be a written offer, even maybe somebody is offering you, um, say, if you work on commission or something, could be offering you some kind of big commission. They could be offering you a written uh, a job, uh, you know, where you have to sign on a dotted line. But either way, this person could be coming in with some really important information too for you uh, at the end of the month. It just seems like this situation could be connected to what's going on, but it could be completely a uh, different thing that just pops out of nowhere towards the end of May. But that is your reading, Pisces. <laughs> I hope this helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.